What's going on people? Coming at you with another fix it yourself video, I guess. Uh, fix your own truck. Uh, yesterday I did it, but I forgot to make a video, so I'm gonna make a video today showing you what I did. This uh, this is your air switch. It's your air switch. You have uh, five of them. See where the pedals are at? Right behind that panel right there. Right behind this panel. You have to take this panel off. It's not hard. It's just uh, that screw and then uh, two screws right above. So it's right where your pedals are at. Right there. That's where this guy is. Now the symptoms to this, it will tell you why you got to switch it out, is... Uh, so you hook up to a trailer, you press your buttons, and you start leaking air. And then your RPMs, I mean your RPMs, your uh, air gauges, are not really filling up. Right? They keep losing air, but it sounds like the air is coming out of here. Which it is, it is, but 9 out of 10 is not from there. It's from this guy right here. So, all you need is one of these one of these to uh, unscrew them screws down there I've already unscrewed mines so I mean it's there's a trick to taking this this panel off and what you do is you're gonna press down on your gas pedal down and then pull it out because it's kind of tricky so let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, there you go. Boom. And there's the panel. There's your panel. It's just a little, little bitty panel. It's not hard. Okay, so there are your switches. Right there, fellas. Them are your switches. So let me show you guys how to do it. Okay, so you have these clips, right? These clips, they just slide off. You just gotta pull on them. Boom, and then boom, okay? Now, you might be asking yourself, okay, does this one go to the left or does this one go to the left? Doesn't matter. That does not matter. It controls just that whole switch. So, what you're gonna do, again, it's gotta be a deep socket. You'll put your socket right in there. Right in there, and then just untighten it. Untighten it. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna untighten mines because I already dipped mines. Because once you untighten it, there's gonna be air that's gonna leak out of there. But, oh, what the hell. Let me show you guys. Okay, so you put your socket in there, and then you just kind of oops. Oh my goodness! Hold on, guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can get you guys to see this. So I'm doing it. If you guys can hear it, the air is leaking out of there already. So I'm not gonna keep doing it. But as you can tell, they're brand new switches. So, and that's what makes your firewall, which is that one right there. This is your firewall. All this is your firewall. I'm gonna tighten it with my finger, that way I won't lose too much air. Sorry about all the shaking. So yeah, that's that's why uh, the firewall starts leaking because of these switches. So, like I said, get your deep socket and just put it in there. Oops, sorry guys. Oops, I 
don't want to stay. Let me tune this sucker back up. Show you guys what I'm doing. And that's it, fellas. Uh, make sure you get a socket, uh, a wrench that folds, you know, because that's the way you got to put it in. You got to put it in like that and then just play with it. Don't tighten it too much because uh, it's plastic. What this is going into is plastic. You don't want to break that plastic. So, yeah, people, that's all to it. It's your air switches. That will control that. So if you hear, you hear air coming out of that, 9 out of 10 times, it's these switches. And as you can see, mines are spanking new. I've just replaced them yesterday. I like to replace them every two years. So remember, it's just this little panel that's got to come off. Okay, don't take that whole panel off. You don't need to. It's just this little panel and it's three screws. This one, this one, and the one in here. And that's it. Okay, fellas, I hope I was able to help somebody out with this video. Have a good day and we'll see you on our next one.